Beauty News family. Hello. Welcome back to Beauty News. We're back. We're back. We're in the studio. Victoria have uh, relaxed their social distancing laws, which is great. We yes. are allowed to be in the same house, which is... It's really not illegal nice. to hang not, out anymore. Yeah, it's not illegal. We just need to keep a metre and a half apart. Which is um, why we've got split screen happening. Yes. So you don't see... We don't have to zoom out. Six metres. Yeah. And... Um, See how many literally the just have like a, a table with equipment on it and like it, crap yeah. in the corner. So yeah. we decided to do it this way, but it does mean we get to see each other in person, which is great. Yes. There's no lag with bloody Zoom. I know. Fucking, fucking Zoom. Fucking Zoom. Ah. Um, so that's behind us, which yes. we're very happy about. Um, our audio may be a bit shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're using one microphone precariously placed between us. Um, because we <laughs> forgot to bring the other one. Yes, from my house. Um, but it's been a while. It's we been a while. We forget things. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, it is what it, it is. It is what it is. Mm-hmm. Um, before we get in to this week's episode, we do have a pre-roll sponsor. Let's do it. Okay, so we all know how ExpressVPN protects your privacy and security online. But if you're not using ExpressVPN to unlock movies and shows that are only available in other countries, then you're missing out. Netflix has a huge catalog, but let's face it, Eventually, it feels like you've run out of stuff to watch. It's so simple to do. I just fire up the ExpressVPN app change my location and refresh Netflix. But it's not just Netflix. ExpressVPN works with any streaming service, Hulu, BBC iPlayer, YouTube, you name it. I wanted to watch the 2017 remake of It the other night, but I couldn't find it on Netflix Australia, no dice. So I changed my location to the UK, refreshed Netflix and sat back with my snacky snacks and enjoyed Bill Skarsgård being a proper creep. There are hundreds of VPNs out there, but the reason we use ExpressVPN to watch shows is because it's ridiculously fast. There's never any buffering or lag and you can stream in HD, no problem. If you visit our link right now at expressvpn.com slash beauty, you can get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free. Support the show, watch what you want and protect yourself with ExpressVPN at expressvpn.com slash beauty. All right, so let's dig into the meat of this episode. We Mm. have a release from Bobby Brown. It is a limited edition summer glow collection. So this consists of a highlighting powder in warm glow. It's a warm gold glow. It's 48 US dollars. There's two bronzing powder duos. These are 44 US dollars each. You've got golden light, um, golden light antigua which is a light tan and a light pink bronze and then medium and telluride which is a medium brown slash warm mauve with a slight shimmer Uh, and then there are two shades of crushed oil infused gloss these are 27 us dollars each you've got a light pink nude and a mid-tone pink nude and then there is a precise blending brush for 50 us dollars and it's available now at bobby brown yeah so it's a pretty um look Bobby Brown is an expensive brand. It is it what is. it is. Uh, I do think this collection looks really nice, though. Really wearable. The blush mm. duos, I really like them. Yeah, yeah. The sort of medium one, probably too deep for me. I love the tones, though. But it still looks nice. Yeah. yeah. Um, it, you know, it's quite pink tone for me, but I think if you want a nice bougie product and you want to feel summery, I think they have hit the mark with it. Yes. So these are the, your colour preferences. Uh, go forth. Go get. Go do. From Charlotte Tilbury, we have uh, some new items that they've added to their airbrush range. So we've got the airbrush bronzer. This comes in four shades, fair, medium, tan, and deep. They're 55 US dollars each. They're just a bronzer. They're bronzers. bronzers. Then we have the luxury palette in Desert Haze. It's 53 US dollars, which is expensive. Uh, It's a four pan matte palette. And we have the airbrush bronzing brush, which is 40 US dollars. Which is like a retractable powder kabuki brush style yes. travel thing. Um, look, very expensive. Mm. I think even for bronzers that they're like, it's a new magic matte smoothing effect airbrush bronzer. Um, so even though it sound, like, sounds like it'd be nice and blendable. It's um, very expensive. It's very expensive for what yeah. it is. But the tones do look quite nice. Um, the eyeshadow quad again really fucking expensive mm-hmm. in Australia. I think this is like eighty Australian dollars. These quads, yeah, all matte, 
does pair nicely with their sort of other um, quads that are sort of all shimmer or predominantly shimmer. So I can sort of get that. Um, but I, I don't know. I think the orange throws me off. Yeah, the terracotta. Yeah. 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 I wish it was a little bit more neutral so it would go with a lot more. Yeah. Because if you're spending that much money on a matte formula, you sort of want it to go with everything. Everything. Yeah. Um, Fair. But, you know, if you've got the money to burn and you are into burning money right now, mm-hmm. not many people are. No, I'm not. Um, <laughs> go forth and burn your money. Yes. Um, from Elf, we have a collaboration with Jay Kisser. So this is the second collaboration that they've done together. Mm-hmm. This is limited edition and uh, consists of an eyeshadow palette, an eyeshadow liquid duo thing, and a forever brush set, which is a six-piece brush set. Now, the eyeshadow palette is called the To The Rescue Eyeshadow Palette. It's 20 US dollars, contains 18 shades, and it is essentially a rainbow gradient texture palette. Mm-hmm. So uh, the top row is um, like sort of your standard rainbow colors and tones. Uh, then your middle row is the same but darker. Yeah. And those two rows are both mattes. And then the bottom row is your rainbow tones, but they're shimmers. Um, now, I know a lot of people are pretty pumped about the way this is laid out a lot of people want more palettes like this i think that makes a lot of sense because i also want more palettes like this yeah me too i think for a rainbow palette which we've seen a lot of and we'll continue to see a lot of and we'll talk about that in a second i think that this is a really well thought out thought out and planned one yeah um a lot of people think of rainbow palettes and they go like the brights Mm. which is at the top but i like the second row of deeper brights i guess because they're the ones that are a lot more wearable um and then you've got the shimmers that you can pair with it it drives me bananas when i see like a rainbow palette and it's got like a mint no like it's got like a lime green matte and then a shimmery yellow and then a peach this and you kind of go well i I want different textures in different colors i don't want to be told that you can only use yellow if it's shimmer or you can only use orange if it's matte I want both. So the fact that they give you all of it, I think this is a really smart palette. Makes it more diverse. Yeah. And you can also like, I don't know, I think you can create looks a lot easier. Like brights are sort of, can be quite daunting and hard to use, Mm -hmm. but I feel like they've done this really well. But, you know, there is a bit of a backlash to this, which we'll talk about in a second. Yes. Um, Before we do talk about the other products, I do want to mention as well that this is um, sort of a themed collection around um sort of rescuing dogs so all the names of in the palette all the shades are named after rescue dogs Mm -hmm. um and what they're doing um for every photo posted in june with the hashtag eyes lips face paws uh elf will be donating one dollar so up to twenty five thousand dollars um to jay kiss's favorite rescue which is angel city pits pitbulls so um it's a dog rescue and um so they there is money giving back but it's not about purchases it's about using the hashtag yeah so you need to people need to take photos and use the hashtag yeah Yeah. or just bloody put the hashtag on the photo of your food yeah there's no real requirement that you have to use the palette just donate the motherfucking money like (laughs) just do it just fuck i know it just feels like a fucking circle jerk it's like buy our shit and then promote our shit for free and we'll donate a dollar to a charity. That's true. And we should be fucking donating to charity. You should just be donating because it's also a tax deduction for the company. But also, if you're wanting people to start uh, posting the products on Instagram, marketing is a lot more expensive than a dollar. Mm -hmm. They're getting... Not only are they getting a tax deduction with the donations, but they're getting... At least 25,000, theoretically, if you're posting about the product, 25,000 photos, that is, like, yep. so cheap for It's going to be like, you know, if I post it, not only are my followers going to see it, but my friends are going to see it, my family is going to see it. Like, it's... Times 25,000. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I just... I feel like they're, they're, the, they're these, getting a good, like... Elf are making it look like we're doing a good thing, but they're getting a lot yeah, yeah, back from yeah. it. That's they're, the thing. It's, you know, this isn't them doing something out of the goodness of their heart. 
No. No. Don't. No. no, no. Yeah. Uh, then we have the Suki To My Heart Eyeshadow Duo. This is 12 US dollars. Looks like it's a double ended, like gold and shimmery, whitish, iridescent, maybe liquid shadow topper something. Yeah. I don't. No, yeah. I don't uh, really it, care. I don't think it's very necessary. <laughs> no, it's I not. I feel like the palette and maybe the brushes because yeah, they go with that's the palette enough. was enough. Yeah. Enough. And then there's a forever brush set. This is $25. US dollars. It's a six-piece eye brush set with um, rainbow gradient handles. So this will be out by the time you're watching this video um, at Elf Cosmetics and Ultra Beauty Online coming to Ulta stores on the 31st of May. Mm -hmm. Now, there has been some controversy behind this. Yes. And it is sort of, it's based around the fact that we are coming up to Pride, uh, Pride Month. And this is literally launching a day before Pride Month starts. Yes. And um, people are a little bit like, you know, is this really the time to take the rainbow and use it to profit. And look, I can't, I understand where people are coming from with this because I've said every year that we've talked about Pride releases that these brands are cashing in on a, a community, a, community, a minority community, a minority community. And also the fact that it is, you know, people are researching Pride a lot at this time. Um, but they also want to support be looking it. Up, yeah, people will be looking up like Pride makeup, like how to do Pride makeup, and then seeing these like, you know, collections or palettes or whatever. So they're cashing in on it. And many of them don't actually support the community in financially. any other, financially, in any other way. Um, some of them will donate some of the proceeds um during the month which is good um but they otherwise don't really have a presence within the lgbtq plus community yeah for 11 other months of the year correct and yes. also you know again similar to what we're talking about with elf and donating a dollar for every photo someone's taking yeah every free publicity <laughs> yeah every free publicity they're doing yeah um which is also a tax deduction. Yeah. Um, a lot of these brands, which we'll be talking about more pride collections uh, coming up in this episode, and we'll also be talking about them probably throughout June. Mm. Also, I wanted to mention, because we've been away, we've been away. Yeah. I don't know if you've noticed. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hi. Uh, we're back. But um, also, we're going to do a video next week doing some catch-up oh, of yeah, some interesting right. stuff. Oh, yeah, that's right. We forgot to mention that. We forgot that. to mention but that. But we are going to do We will that. be doing that. Yes. So next week, there'll be a bonus video. Um, recapping on sort of interesting collections that we've missed while we've been away. So going back to the Pride thing, these brands are making a profit and probably a good profit off using this community as like marketing again, mm. but they generally donate just a little like token. So it's yeah. almost like oh, I've paid my dollar entry into using your property or your sort of um, facilities. Yeah, whatever yeah. it happens to be. And um, that's okay. I'm making money doing this, but I've done my token. I've donated like, you know, 5% of the proceeds to charity, mm. but I'm making 95% of the proceeds. So we've always thought that this is a cash grab, but the reason why we're talking about this with this particular palette, mm. even though this is a dog inspired palette or a um, rescue animal inspired palette, mm -hmm. it's sort of really bad timing for Elf because it seems like they're trying to get in on cashing in on the Pride Month stuff without actually acknowledging that they're using Pride Month to sell it. So yeah. if you're not savvy enough and you look at this, you can kind of go, oh, this is about great Pride stuff and Pride mm. this and Pride that, yeah. um, which is what I think is annoying a lot of people. But at the same time, they're not even acknowledging that the community, the community yeah. and they're releasing it so close and to I, Pride Month. Yeah, and I think it's it's important here to mention that we don't think the LGBTQ plus community owns the rainbow, and we're not. We don't think they think that. Yeah. Um, we have seen LGBTQ plus people mentioning we don't own the rainbow. Yeah, they can create palettes. It's also like, can't we just have this time where we're celebrated? And can't they just release this in like November? Yeah. When it's far away from Pride Month? Yeah. 
Like I, yeah. I also think it's doing a disservice to like the the charity that they are donating to, which they should donate more money to, mm-hmm. um, because this is a cool palette. It's a cool cause. It's a cool collaboration. Yeah, and a, and a lot of people really like it. I just think it's sort of. Um, Similar, and this 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 is going to be something we're t- going to talk about next week. Similar to how Jeffrey Star released the um, cremated, crema- palette. cremated palette, it's tone deaf. It's it is tone deaf, and you kind of go, okay, maybe it was stuck between a rock and a hard place. Yeah, they couldn't release it any other time, or didn't fit with their schedule. But at the same time, you know, it's fair that people are going. Really? Like right now? Right. Yeah. And that's, really? you know, I respect where those people are coming from. At the end of the day, I'm not going to buy this collection. Mm. I don't care. It's not even available it. to us. No, it's, it's not US. available to us. Um, and I don't care, but I, I care about, you know, the struggles, but I don't care about this release. But I totally understand where people are coming from. Yeah. You know? I also understand where people are coming from where they're like, this has nothing to do with it. So stop. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Co- comparing it to Pride Month um, and the Pride releases because mm. they're different things and, you know, it's a different theme. But the problem is It's that released a day before Pride. It's getting, Pride like, Month. you're confusing apples with apples. Yes. Because <laughs> like, that's essentially what it is. Yeah. You're releasing a rainbow palette and rainbow brushes a day before Pride Month. Yeah. And that's the thing I think is a little like, bit cheeky about it. Yeah. Come on. No. If you want it to stand on its think? own... That's release right. at a different time. That's right. Yeah. And we do see rainbow shit released like all year, year round. round. Yeah. And there's never a time in January where people go, you're stepping on my pride shoes. Like, yeah, that's true. You know, how dare you? The rainbow belongs to us. They don't think that. No. Nobody thinks that. But if you're doing it in day June. Before, <laughs> the day before June. <laughs> yeah. It's people a, it's are a thinking bit... that. Anyway, moving on. So that's yes. that. It's, a, it's available if, if you, you want it. If you want and it. And I don't blame people who want it because I do think it's a it's smart, smart palette. palette. Yeah. yeah, it's a well thought out palette. Yeah. I totally agree with that. Um, all right, moving on to skincare, Pharmacy mm. Beauty. Uh, they are launching a deep sweep. Uh, it's an alcohol free 2% BHA toner that gently exfoliates, deep cleans, pores, and controls oil without overstripping skin. So it's ideal for combination oily or acne prone skin. Fantastic. Excellent. I am combination oily. I don't know. Do we have access to Pharmacy Beauty in Australia? I don't know. I think we can get it at Sephora. Or maybe I'll look out for this. Yeah. Um, but it's coming soon to Pharmacy Beauty and Sephora, and it is a toner. Excellent. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. Moving papaya on. enzymes. Yes, papaya. Papaya. Okay. Iconic London have launched uh, the ultimate bronzing powder. With the ultimately Bullshit description. Oh, this is so which we're gonna cover. I'm just going to read it for you. So, this is direct from the brand. So, it says, Is this summer looking more staycation than vacation? Don't worry, babes. Our new matte bronzer is a silky fine powder that adds a gorgeous sun-kissed warmth to your collection. The complexion. Co- complexion. Is that... Did you say co- collection? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I Maybe meant I'm complexion. Things. Complexion. Anyway, uh, the creamy texture banishes the telltale shimmer, <laughs> giving you a totally smooth, naturally matte finish so you can cheat and just stepped off the beach glow. <laughs> Whatever the weather. And the sweep across your face and collarbones to get glowing. Do they understand what matte is? No. And Do they you... understand that glowing and bronze are different things? And they're saying... <laughs> Banish the telltale shimmer. And oh, hun. banish the telltale shimmer, but it gives you a glow, but it's matte. Hun, glow is a finish. Bronze is a color. Yeah, I know. I hun. think I think they're pretty. <laughs> Look, when I first heard that it was um, a silky fine powder, and it's like banishes the tell telltale shimmer. I was like, is it a mattifying powder? Like, you know, like a smoothing powder. Mm. I was like, yeah, is yeah, it a yeah. bronzer that actually takes away oil and shine? Uh, yeah, maybe. And I was like, that sounds okay. interesting. But, but now where you, hang on, but where you bronze, typically you bronze you don't, Yeah, and, and then you get the oils here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it doesn't Unless make sense like, anyway. Unless you greasy temples some people do <laughs> yeah some yeah. people do so i was like okay maybe it's like a smoothing really finely milled yeah mattifying but then bronze. they're saying that you will get the glow yeah and cheat are just stepped off the beach glow at just 
53 Australian dollars. It is our most wanted summer steal and should be an everyday staple in your iconic makeup stash. No! <laughs> no, so let's break that down as well. It's not a steal at 53 Australian it's dollars, not. which is 25 pounds. Mm. Also, in Australia, it's, we're, winter. it's coming up to winter, so get fucked. <laughs> Most wanted summer steal. No, you're wrong. Anyway, it's available in four shades if, if this spiel is enticing you yes. to buy it. Um, and, yeah, available at Iconic London. What I will say is they are huge pants. Yes. The colours look nice enough. They definitely look bronzy. They're warm shades. They look fine, well, but their can, spiel is bullshit. Whoever wrote stupid. that needs to be fired. They've it's probably got a, like an like a intern. Why are you so dumb? <laughs> but can I also say with these four shades, not yeah. enough variety. Oh, no, no, no. It looks like no, they've no, no. swatched... Two shades just this is, repeated. This is like one person's summer and winter range. Yeah. Just putting it out there. This yeah. Is... The first two are my winter colours because I don't yeah. want two bronze. And then summer shades. And then my the last summer two. shades. And it depends on, you know, the vibe I'm Yeah. Looking How a little warm bit more red do I want, or a do I want more to be yellow? a little bit cooler than normal? Yeah. 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 It's, yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. All right. Linda Holberg have released two new products to their range. We first got the ultimate lips. So in brackets, lips in place stick. So that's what lips stand for. Uh, essentially, it's a lip primer. So if you want to prevent lipsticks from bleeding and you want them to last a bit longer, lip primers are the way to go. I've never really delved into lip primers, so I don't know how they work, but there we go. And then we've also got the Infinity Power Lash Waterproof Mascara. Um, now these look, they look pretty fancy mm. and Linda Hallberg makes everything look amazing. She, she could does. literally smear dog shit on her face and look still, still look gorgeous. So yep. I saw, Accurate. I saw the, like how, what the mascara looks like and I'm like, it looks amazing. Yeah. But that's probably just her face. Yep. So yeah, no, it is what it is. Um, yeah. yeah, but the lip primer is really interesting. Uh, I do think it's an interesting addition to the range. I think the mascara makes a lot of sense because they don't have a mascara. I agree. Lip primer, the only lip sticks they actually have in their range are like tinted balms. Yeah, which the generally fancy sticks. don't need lip primers. Yeah. So I'm thinking this might be a hint at something coming. Maybe they're going to have different formula lipsticks, maybe liquid lipsticks. I'm thinking this might lead into something in the future because the only other lip products they sort of promote are their uh, multi-purpose pencils that, that she often uses on her lips. Yeah. So, um, yeah, available now if you want them. It, it, it's it, yeah, it's a thing. It's a thing. It's yeah. a thing. Uh, we have something here from Mac. We don't have any information about it, but I want to talk about it because people were doing two things. Getting very excited or being suspicious. Getting ready to be disappointed. Yeah, yeah. So this is from MAC. It's a sneak peek um, of like a tri-coloured eyeshadow, essentially. Yep. You've got like a blue, a pinky purple, and then sort of an apricot orange colour gradient. Does look like it's potentially um, an extra dimension yes. finish. Eyeshadow. I would say it would be because that's what the pan design implies. Yes. Now yeah. it does have the see-through plastic packaging. Cringe. We're not impressed. Haley hates. I will never accept it. I will, you will never be part of the family. I'm just saying. No. Unless it's the right color combination of this eyeshadow, then you'd be like, okay, I'm Why buying. don't they make the clear package Ombre? packaging like, yeah, like a cool color at least? Not this like Tupperware crappy, <laughs> like it's just not, it's not cool. And I get the vibe from it. I don't know why I get this vibe. There's no proof that it's going to happen. I get the vibe that over time it's going to yellow. Yeah, that's fair. Like braces. That's just, yeah. I <laughs> like just, clear bra yeah, braces. Yeah, like bands. a line of trays, and like yeah. yeah, over time they're yellow. They like stain. Anyway, this uh, the community was like ready for my body. Yeah. Or they were like, is it's that gonna an be overspray? An overspray. <laughs> Look, yeah. I don't think it's going to be an overspray I don't think because it will. the extra dimension formula is a really intense one. It's one that they, it's like their intense highlighters, their intense shimmery eyeshadows. Yeah. So I don't think it's going to be an overspray. Um, a lot of other people were saying this reminds them of makeup that they bought in the early 2000s. And I just want to say, I don't man, know. you had some cool makeup in the early 2000s. 
I had brown eyeshadow from yeah, we Revlon. Yeah, we didn't have that shit in the 2000s here. No, I think I had one of those uh, quints. What you know, are talking about 2000s? <laughs> the early 2000s. Like, I understand the frosty eyeshadows were around. Yeah. But this must have been something that was out in the US and um, right. because we didn't see it. No, we definitely didn't I had frosty didn't lip glosses. I didn't have this. Yeah. So, I don't um, think this is going to be frosty, though. Like It's the, metallic. Yeah. yeah, like the extra dimension eyeshadows, they're not frosty. They're like... No, they're beautiful. They're sexy. Yeah. But so, I think I think this sort of hit that sort of um, right frosty, shimmery eyeshadow vibe that was in the early 2000s. Fair. So, you know, the Paris Hilton-y kind of look. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah. It does look like Paris Hilton in a compact. It, I'm sure this one's called Paris. <laughs> Let's just say that. Uh, this also reminds me of the rainbow highlighter trend. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of yeah, like that's four fair. Years ago. That's fair. Yeah. But I'm curious if this is a collection which it will be, like mm. whether it's a collection of just eyeshadows or whether it's a summer collection or something. Um, I want to see what the other colors are. Yeah, it can't be too far off because it was shared on Max Instagram yeah. account. So I'm keen to see more. It's just going to pop up on the website. But take soon. that bloody clear packaging back. Yeah, why can't they take make it, back it like Max. a like a like a color that is in the pan or yeah. if they made an ombre color with it, it'd be really cool, like, like matching. Keep it clear if you want, but make it like, I don't know, like yellow, pink, red, purple, blue, green. I don't know. Do make it different. Just not frosty clear. It makes it. But they did that with the nude collection and this is That's so far guys... from the nude collection. Yeah, you guys are getting 2000 vibes because of that fucking packaging. <laughs> That's what it is. 2019 vibes. <laughs> yeah, well, like 1999 vibes. That's true. You're getting like back Blow in, up chair. yeah, back Blow in up Nana's chair. cupboard, like Tupperware cupboard vibes. Oh shit, the blow up couches. I one of they were great. I love them. Was Until some idiot would like flop on it really hard and it'd pop. And yeah, just, you fucking ruined it. I thanks. ordered that from a magazine. Fucking ass. From the back of my TV <laughs> hits magazine. Oh, oh shit. All right. Let's talk about Marc Jacobs. We've yes. got two collections. One is Pride related. And now this launched mid to early May. Yep. And they launched it early for Pride. Um, it's available now on the Marc Jacobs website. And it will be available at Sephora on the 5th of June. Mm -hmm. So these are five new shades of the Enamored with Pride Hydrating Lip Gloss Sticks. Uh, they come in... Look, I, the shades... The shades are woeful. I don't... I'm just I would not, have no pride in wearing these shades. No. What is that white shimmery one? I hope what it's is, just a clear, though. I, I Yeah, I hope... If that's a clear, that'd be the best that's one out of them. good, it. yeah. Because they've, they've got a baby pink, a baby yep. purple, a baby peach, and a Barbie pink. Yes. Um, and the only thing that's pride related is the box that you yeah, throw out. Yeah, not, um, not the actual packaging. Yeah, and I feel like these shame. shades just aren't that enticing. I sort of feel yeah. like if you want to, if you haven't bought one of these before, because they do have permanent shades in the range, and you're gonna, they're gonna push you over the line to actually buy something that also donates a percentage of the proceeds or whatever to a charity. Mm. And you go, I want to do that because I support the charity and I also want a fancy lip gloss out of it. Give us some nice fucking shades. Yeah, it's not I that agree. hard. It's really not that hard. I'm actually so, just going to look on their website to see if I can find swatches. All right. I'm curious about... Because if I'm you can find swatches, we'll put them on the screen. Yes. But I do want to mention that they're proud to be donating to two charitable organisations providing vital services and support to the LGBTQ community. So it's to Sage USA and Le Refuge officials. So um, that is who they're donating to. All right, we can't find any swatches um, as of filming this, but I can confirm that Dancing Sheen, which is the one that looks white, is a clear shimmer shade. So yes. I don't know if it's going to look frosty. I don't know if it's just going to be a beautiful sort of like glossy clear with a beautiful like sheen, enhancing sheen. I don't know. Don't know. I don't know. Did we say that they're 29 US dollars each or you could buy the bundle for 116? No, we didn't. Now well, we now did. Now we did. Go, now go we team. did. Okay, we do have another collection from Marc Jacobs Beauty, which has eclipsed their... Uh, pride release in my opinion yes yeah um look it's the way they released it just you know 
what ifs, what ifs. <laughs> um, this is their limited edition gold collection for summer. So it consists of the iconic eye palette in extravagance. It's $49.50. So this is one of their seven pan palettes. It's a very nude and gold. Yeah. Nude and gold, very wearable. I, look, I like it. I'm, I'm kind of into it. And I think I would wear all of the shades. So I wonder. I kind of want to swatch it. I want it. to swatch it. I'm so gung-ho for going back shopping. Yeah, I'm, I just want to get in the shops and fucking look at some shit. I know. I'm just annoyed. And I had the realisation the other week where I'm like, yes, I can go to the shop soon. And then I was like, I have to take a baby with me. Yeah. It's not going to be easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do I really want to go to the shop? Um, but yeah, so I would love to go and check this out. Um, we were talking before about how I've, I've tried lip products, yep. eyeliners, Foundation, highlighters, mascara, bronzers, all of it, all of it from Marc Jacobs, yep. but no eyeshadows. No. And I've heard good things about it yeah. and I've just been waiting for the right palette to make me spend my money. Mm. If I saw this in store and I could swatch it, because right now Sephora is open but you can't swatch anything. No, apparently um, not. Apparently. Uh, if, I, if, the, if it looked like it was a colour combination I wanted, yeah. you Give it a go. Money. Yeah. You're taking yeah, my money is the money that I don't have. Um, then we have five highliner shades, five new highliner shades. They're 26 US dollars each and they're all metallics. All metallics. So yep. we've got Oh My Gold, which is an antique gold. Top Brass is a warm brass shade. Glitter Sweet is a cool bronze. Pewter Please is a warm pewter. And Olive You is a golden olive. Um, these look good. Nice like for them. like an accent or something. Yeah, I do think that like they should have had more variety and depth of yeah, colour. Yeah. Because I don't mind metallics, but I often find that if they're light metallics, I don't use them very much. Yeah. I don't actually... You can't really see them very well on no. the eye. They don't define yep. the eye. But like the pewter and the yeah, olive the and the pewter one is what one, I've got my eye on. Um, I like those three. I think they're gorgeous. And if you do like one of these colours, I would say snap it up because the formula is very, very good. Yeah. Um, and they are limited edition shades. It also means that they will eventually be on sale. So. Love that. I'm going to wait. Yeah. And then I might go, yoink, yoink, yoink. Thank you very much. And the last item is the Atlashed Mascara in Black Arts, 27 US dollars. They are promoting this pretty heavily, but, you know, it's just mascara. It's a mascara. It's a mascara. I just don't get excited about mascara these days. Before we continue with this week's episode, we do have some sponsors. Now that so many of us are stuck at home, we thought we'd offer some more suggestions of series to binge if you're bored and looking to change things up. Use ExpressVPN to check out the Planet Earth series on Netflix UK or the original 1959 Twilight Zone series on Netflix US. It's still an awesome series. About a week ago, I noticed Netflix Australia had some of the Hannibal Lecter movies in their library, but they were missing Silence of the Lambs. Like, what? You can't watch that series without watching Silence of the Lambs. However, I used ExpressVPN to switch over to Netflix UK and I was able to fill the gap of my movie binge session. ExpressVPN and Netflix UK to the rescue again. ExpressVPN hides your IP address and lets you control where you want sites to think you're located. You can choose from almost 100 different countries. So just think about all the Netflix libraries you can go through. ExpressVPN is also compatible with all your devices, phones, media consoles, smart TVs, and more. So you can watch what you want on your personal device or on the big screen, wherever you are. If you visit our link right now at expressvpn.com beauty, you can get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free. Support the show, watch what you want, and protect yourself with ExpressVPN at expressvpn.com beauty. If you're feeling guilty about wearing loungewear to your working from home Zoom meetings, we suggest you check out Beta Brand's dress pant yoga pants. You'll get comfort and professionalism rolled into one. Beta Brand's customer favorite dress pant yoga pants are made of wrinkle resistant stretch knit fabric that won't dig into your skin, but also offers some support. So you not only feel good, but look good too, making them perfect for long work days or working from home. 
There are tons of different colors and styles to choose from like bootcut, straight legs, skinny, cropped, eight pocket and more. They launch new styles weekly. I'm currently digging the six button dress pant yoga pants. They have this funky 70s vibe and I can easily picture them being dressed up or dressed down depending on the occasion. Who doesn't like versatile, comfortable pants that aren't boring? Right now, our listeners can get 25% off their first order when you go to betabrand.com slash beauty. That's 25% off your first order for a limited time at betabrand.com slash beauty. Find out why women are ditching typical work pants for Beta Brand's dress pant yoga pants. Head on over to betabrand.com slash beauty for 25% off. From Maybelline, we've got a new Color Strike eyeshadow pen. So this is a cream to powder eyeshadow pen for up to 12 hour bold color impact in one simple swipe with zero fallout. This is a an eyeshadow in like a stick. No, that's not the right way to put it. It's an eyeshadow with like a sponge applicator. It's like a powder. It's a, a powder. It's a tiny little pot of powder and then you like twist the stick out and it's got a sponge. Out. You've all seen them before. This is what you're talking about from the early th- 2000s. Yes, that's and true. And the 90s. Yeah. These were popular in the 90s. I don't know. Why are brands still making these? Why? The cre- cream to powder formula is an interesting... We have had these in cream to powder formulas oh, okay. before. I don't know if Maybelline's done it. I've just, I've just never it. tried them. Like, I've seen the pigments in the pots, but yeah. I've never tried the, like, powder, cream to powder ones. Yeah. Um, I just don't... Uh, yeah. But, look, uh, the shades aren't too bad in mm. the scheme of things. They do give you the pop of blue because that's the trendy thing to do. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, the shades... You know, look, this, and look, this is for your makeup casual yeah person, like your casual makeup user yeah this that's is like not. i just want to just done yeah this done. Is, this is not for me this is not for beauty news groups. <laughs> no <laughs> unless you're really interested in it then go yeah go, but go, go ahead look sometimes i can bring out with good formulas of stuff like yeah, Maybelline yeah. can hit you with yeah they can products. absolutely um it's just not always. this is not this is not it this does not interest me mm. this looks like something that i would buy for like a 12 year old yeah basically anyway available or a now at 70 year old yeah yeah for my nan <laughs> yeah nan you want to glitz up your eyes here is here a you go Maybelline here is a, a blue cream to powder you don't need your glasses to stick. put it on no you're fine uh so these available now at amazon for 6.99 us all right we've got another pride collection this is morphe so they're coming back with their second i think it's a second pride collection yeah the one last year was way better it was. I'm just going to put it out there. Yeah. I have a photo on the screen. These the palette was a rainbow palette. Shit. The 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 brush kit looks cool. Um, this one, not as good. It so, sort of looks like it's complementary to the last palette, maybe. Um, yeah. But yeah, yeah. I still don't think it's that great. The brushes are shit. I'm yeah. Just, they're yeah. so shit compared to last year's brushes. Yeah, last year's brushes looked way better. Yeah. And this is like an all glitter palette. I know. So essentially what we've got is uh, the 10G Glisten Up Artistry Palette, $18. Um, it looks like every shade is shimmery or glittery. Mm. Um, it is a colourful palette. It does look like there's a maybe a holographic glitter in there. Maybe, yeah. And yeah, also sort of like a, a multicolored glitter in there as yeah. well. So again, this is not a sort of standalone palette. This is more a complementary palette. Um, their last year's palette was more of a comprehensive rainbow palette. Mm. Um, they also have a, a Better World six-piece brush collection, 26 US dollars, $51 value. So they're all eye brushes and they are white handle with ombre colorful ferrules. Uh, there's a lip gloss in Speak Out, which is a holographic rainbow sparkle. It's nine US dollars. I don't think this is holographic at all. No. It looks like it's an iridescent white. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. get your terms correct. You're in the makeup industry. Come on. It's not that hard. Yes. Uh, and then we have a Pride Continuous Setting Mist, which is a limited edition scented oh. mist. I don't know what the scent is. Don't know. But um, They didn't tell us. Why? They didn't tell us. It's you 16 don't... US dollars. And it's... You've got one yeah. fucking job. 
One job to do, One mate. job. But it's not out yet, so we can't look it up. But no. you have the power to look it up if you're interested in what the scent is. Yes. Uh, it has launched on the 28th of May, so that is pretty much today. Now, yeah. Now-ish. Yeah, yeah. So they are actually donating, and this is good because normally we'll see, like, oh, a percentage of the proceeds. Yeah, yeah. This is 100% of net proceeds. For a um, dollar for free advertising. For a dollar for free advertising. <laughs> that was, that's the fucking shittest. Yeah, that yeah, yeah, I, yeah it's shit. I'm surprised at how shit that was. Like, this is... Let's compare what Morphe are doing to what and Morphe. they're doing. Like yeah. Morphe. Morphe. They like to make their money. <laughs> Morphe. They like to make their money. They honey. do like to make <laughs> their money. But yeah. let's compare this. Yeah. So 100% of net proceeds and it's a minimum of 50K will be donated to glsen.org. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, minimum 50K, but if more people buy it, more, more of it, yeah. um, more of it will go to the organisation. Yes. Um, and what's really good about when they donate all proceeds is that they're just covering the costs of making the product, but then everything that is profit goes to the donation. That is what you should be doing yeah. if you're going yeah. to be capitalising on Pride Month. Um, and if you want to actually give more because you want to be more generous, you, you just can donate. Do, donate the whole purchase, the whole purchase price, which yeah. means that they're donating their time and money to making the product but very minimum i think brand should be 100 percent of net proceeds. absolutely i will just point out the donation basis and amounts will vary when purchased from other retailers so okay. if you want the 100 percent of net proceeds for a minimum of 50k um has to be you the have to site. purchase it from the morphe website or from the store yeah so be aware of that because you know people like to know the fine print yes very true all right, we have a Pride collection from NYX here. Uh, this is the Pride Edition Ultimate Shadow Palette. It's a 16-pan rainbow palette with matte satin and metallic finishes. It's 18 US dollars. Now, you will be forgiven if you think this looks familiar. That's because it is. Um, <laughs> it's so shit. It's been out before, and not only has it been out before, but it's fucking permanent anyway. <laughs> All I've done is change the box. I, like, I can't... They've put it in new packaging, new yeah. box. Yeah, and also, when you're looking at this, um, the so you're seeing an image of um, a palette with a black border and a palette That's with a, a colourful per- border. Yeah, that, the the one... col- Sorry, yeah, yeah, the colourful border is just a box. Yeah. It's a box. It's not actually printed on the palette. As far as we can see. Yes. But even if it is, it's the same fucking product. It's exactly with the different same. packaging. You shit. Yeah. You shit. Yeah. Again, Fuck off. This is not even just trying to capitalize on Pride Month. This yeah. is lazy. So lazy. It's so fucking lazy. They're like, we've already got one. Might have to make another one. Me I don't want to. I want a kebab. Yeah, I do. I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah. um, then we have the Pride Edition Vivid Brights Eyeliners. These are seven US dollars each. They're six shades. You've got yellow, orange, red, purple, blue, teal. And there are Pride Edition Shout Loud Satin Lipsticks, $8.50 each, six shades. You've got a hot pink, an orange red, a deep pink, a bright purple pink, a purple pink, and a teal. And I'm just going to say, I don't, I need to confirm this, but I don't think they're donating anything to it, anyone. It doesn't seem like they are, which again is cheeky, but also the Photoshop images of these lipsticks are driving me bananas. I hate them. If you can't even have a legitimate photo, like a photo of the product. I know. Why? What, what do you, why can't you put that on the website? It's just, like, why am I buying your shit? Don't buy it. Don't buy it. Don't, Don't buy it. Shit. All right, we've got a new lip glaze from Orange, or, Oranges. Yep. Lip glaze from Oranges. <laughs> Origins. Uh, they've launched their new Blooming Shine Nourishing Lip Glaze. So these are infused with 12 nourishing flowers else did that recently there's a brand yeah, that was, was all about the flowers yeah um anyway so it's a high oh, shine goodness. lip gloss that delivers non-sticky color that keeps lips smooth supple and petal soft uh so it's a buildable high shine color locks in moisture to um so the lips look plump and full so there's 12 shades there's a variety of different nudes like mid-tone nudes light nudes reds pinks mauves berries um so there is a pretty good 
combination or selection Color of shades range, here. Yeah. And they're now available at Origins and Ulta Beauty for twenty US dollars. Excellent. Um, we also have new lip balms from Revlon. Mm -hmm. Now these are Asian exclusive at the moment. Um, we got most of the information or the photos from uh, Revlon Japan, mm. but um, I don't know if they're coming elsewhere. A few people were interested in them and. Sorry, they're just Asia exclusive at the moment. Yeah. Um, but these are the new Kiss Glow Balms. So these have been around actually for about a month or so in uh, Asia. But hopefully, like, if you're interested, they might be something that will be coming soon. Yes. They remind me so much of the butter, like the butter. The, yes. What are they called? Butter balms? Butter, butter, balms, butter, butter glosses? Lip, yeah, butter glosses. No, that was Nick's thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I know the ones you're talking about aren't differences, uh, but you're very aware that these are color adjusting. I know, I know. <laughs> so these, I hate them with a passion. Look, I hate them. The thing that's a, that's confusing about these though, because right now we don't have a lot of information in English to yes, find yeah. out. Um, but they are saying that it's created with a formula that transforms into a one of a kind flush on your lips. Yeah. So it gives the impression that they are color changing so they're all faded to a pink yeah um which could be very popular in the asian market yeah like i think it tinted. actually is quite popular yeah. yeah but there's uh three shades lily glow peony glow and daisy glow um so one's red one's pink one's orange um but yeah they really do give me that butter what the fuck was it called lip butter i think they were lip butters weren't they lip butters they were yeah. lip butters Shit, they were really popular back in the they day. They were massive. You were no one if you didn't. If you have didn't that. have a lip butter, you were you were dead to the internet. Yeah, you were to yeah. the beauty community. Hundred percent. I remember all these. We do have some more lip products here. These are from Rowan Beauty, and they're called the Kiss My Liquid Lip Balm. <laughs> <laughs> Kiss my liquid. <laughs> no. No. Um, so they're a non-sticky alternative to a classic lip gloss. Uh, it's a liquid lip balm that soothes the lips as it nourishes, regenerates, and repairs. Formulated with mango and grapeseed oil to hydrate and protect, Kiss My provides the high shine of a gloss with the nourishment of a balm. It comes in three shades. Glossy Nude, Dusty Rose, and a Deep Berry. They're 26 US dollars each, and they're available now at Sephora. I do think the Nude and the, like, the Dusty Rose is yeah, really they pretty. Look really they pretty. look nice. They do look nice. I haven't tried this brand. I don't think we can get it here in Australia. No, but Nude Lip Gloss. Look, you I'll, can't go wrong. I'll give it a crack. Unless it's sticky and gloopy like those goddamn color, uh, ColourPop. Uh, the new one. They, they are. So bad. And the thing is, they don't... When you first use them, you're like, oh, they're oh, not yeah, bad. Yeah, but then, yeah. like, as you wear them, you're like... And you put on the tiniest amount and you get these, like, strings. It's... Bleh, nah. They were the um, Lux Yes, gloss. the Lux, Lux lip glosses. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yep. Um, uh, mm. Sigma have launched an iconic brush set. So it includes brushes. Yes. I really can't be fucked. But no. But they've got gold handles yeah gold ferrules they do look nice they They're do come with a, a bag all existing brushes yeah you got the flat kabuki the spotlight duster the high cheekbone highlighter the diffused crease medium sweeper and a bag yeah so five brushes face US and dollars. eyes and a bag yeah 89 us dollars expensive but their brushes are nice and they're good quality they do last a while so yes. you know if you wanted if you if this was interesting to you you can get it. You can get it. If you're mad for gold, mm. go for gold. And it's if, available uh, now. Yes. Yes. Probably the biggest news of the week, which is I the know. very last thing we're the talking last about. The thing. My gold. Mm -hmm. um, Urban Decay, new naked palette. Yep. What the is fuck? The, the naked ultraviolet palette. 12 vivid neutrals with a purple pop. Yeah. Yes. Um, okay, so... This is a mixed... Re People have mixed reactions to they this. They do. Major, major mixed. <laughs> One of the biggest things I've been seeing is people being like, how is this naked? Um, I think the naked range is just meant to sort of be like... Wearable. Yeah. And also sort of like capsules within like... Yeah. I think... Yeah. yeah. I think it's... it's, it's 
gone beyond what it was originally yes, designed yeah. to be, which was these are nude palettes it's and evolved. it's a play on naked. Yeah, it has evolved. They can't just keep repeating naked palettes, like nude palettes, no, no. every year. So what they're doing is making sort of capsules, like you said, colour capsules, but they're more wearable. Like mm. it's not like a – it's not one of their neon palettes. It's not like um, – yeah, they're – wearable color stories yes, yep. and even though i think this is pushing it further than their past naked palettes um so i'm thinking of like the smoky mm. the um naked heat the cherry the gold no what was it honey naked honey yes um they even they were had their own sort of vibe going on but again you could sort of interpret them more as nude rather than color mm. um this is definitely more colourful for the Naked range. But, I, again, I think it's transcended to more – this is wearable. Yeah. And what they have done here, which I a lot of people don't like but I actually do like, is that they've got um, five nude shades and then they've got seven purpley shades. Mm. Now, a lot of people like just get rid of the nudes, but I think, once again, they can't get rid of the nudes. It's yeah. a Naked palette collection. And also one thing I really like about purple eyeshadows is that they pair beautifully with nudes. So I think this is a way that gives people who are a bit worried about purples but want to dip into purples yeah. and really like the Urban Decay formula um, a little prompt to step out of their comfort zone. So I don't hate this. I don't like the purples. Neither do I. I think the purples I've reckon... chosen are like... Shitty looking purples. Yeah. I reckon they're very pink. What's gonna sell this palette is people who are still sort of excited by the naked range from Urban Decay. Which is like that's not me. No I, one these days. I moved on from that a long time ago. Um but I reckon people who go in store and swatch these and there'll they, be and people doing it, trust me. VR lucid and euphoric. Yeah. They all look like they're duochromes. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's gonna like. People are gonna be like, "Oh my god, oh, yeah." I, need it. I think this is gonna be for people who aren't aware of duochromes and maybe aren't aware of purple palettes, mm. because um, once again, I think you have to be quite deep in the beauty community to be aware of brands that are doing full color palettes yeah. or maybe doing purple eyeshadows and duochromes a lot better than this. I my hesitation with this is that um, besides the fact that. Not really my colour story. Um, but my hesitation with this is I think Urban Decay eyeshadows were good for when they first came out. Mm. Uh, they haven't evolved. Mm. And problem with purples is they're notoriously hard to formulate. And I don't think these are going to be great. So no. I still think that Urban Decay eyeshadow formula is just a basic eyeshadow yeah. formula. And generally a little bit too overpriced for what yeah. you're getting. It was good Eight years ago, yeah, but we've moved on. So Urban Decay Heat was Naked Heat was the last palette that I tried from Urban Decay that I can remember from this Naked range, mm. and it was pretty average. Going back to the Naked Smoky, I feel like that's where they peaked. That bombed though. I don't know why that bombed. That was a great palette. It's fucking. I reckon it's the best palette. palette in their repertoire. To yeah, be honest. but I think the problem with it is, um, it, it's more of a advanced palette. Yeah, like I don't do smoky eyes often, and a lot of people don't because they're quite intimidating. So mm. I think that was a really perfect smoky eye palette. Yeah, but most people are like, I don't. I do don't smoky know how eyes to do every yeah. day. And yeah. even though, which is fair. it was that's like a makeup artist palette though. The yeah. color story yeah. that's in it. So smart. Yeah, it's actually that was that's actually probably, their best palette. Yeah. I yeah. agree, but it's also one that's been discontinued. Yes, um, yeah. But I, I agree with you. I think what's going to sell this is people who again aren't super aware of what else is available. Yeah. Walking in, going, oh, I love purple, and then be like, oh, duochrome. <laughs> what's this magic? And yeah. they and they buy it. So yeah. um, look, I think this is going to sell fairly well. Um, and a lot of people are like this is my perfect palette. And if it's something that you love, yeah. go for it. If this doesn't tickle your purple sort of jollies yeah then skip it yeah. but um yeah it's coming soon this was sort of shown on the uk website and i think it was accidentally put up you know when they put up pages yeah, but they yeah. don't link it to the home page when yeah. people search things it pops up in google yeah that's what happened with this with the uk website so i think they're days. prepping for it to come out very soon yeah. but um we haven't yet got confirmation of mm. when it's coming out but if you want it 
You'll be able to get it soon. Yes. It's coming. It's coming. It is. It is coming. All right, guys. That's it. We are back. And, we're and uh, we are going. All right, guys. As you can hear, it is time for us to go. But before we do, we have to dedicate this episode right, to buddy. a beauty news VIP. And this week's VIP is Alexi. Thank, thank you, you Alexi. Alexi, for supporting beauty news. And thank you to everyone who supports beauty news in whichever way you choose to do it. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and chuck your favorite purple emoji. Yes. In the description. Good not idea. the description. The comments. Comments. The comments. We're saving the rainbows for June. We are indeed. Okay. All right. All right, See you guys. guys. See you in the next one. Bye. Oh, you have a grumpy. Uh.